this term, I'm now going to lower six. I joined so far. And it looks pretty interesting. Um, I remember in form five, I would see others going down from here, testing it. And I saw it look fun. So I say, why not? Let me join. The reason why I really want to join was cards, so why I joined the first was just to drive the card and play some other people. Because that's a, a, a very um, reason. I like the speed and the rush you get from when down the hill with like the top speed and the hill. It was fun. The last time I was there, it was interesting to see all the different cards were and all the problems that did came along with each individual cards. Um, I'm glad to be here again, and I would really like to be a driver this time because the driving seemed like to be the fun, most fun part of it. Hi, this is the first time I got to officially be here, but I was able to help out with a nice box boxcar with my brother. And I find, I do find the engineering part of it interesting, how to figure out the aerodynamics, how to figure out how to make the car optimal. So I'm glad to be officially here, and I would like to work on the box counts. This is my first time, so I don't know much. But if there's something I want, if there's something I want to see, I want to see it on TV. Remember, gentlemen, part of this thing is the red portfolio. St. Mary's have always represented well with their cards. They're a little shy on the quality of the portfolio. It's an important part of it, right? So that will be the advice I give and the guidance. Welcome aboard and let's see what the Saints could do, yeah? This is what the Saints do in their box now. The Gravity Racing Association of Trinidad and Tobago is getting ready for the uh, box cart intercall. It's happening on the 28th and 29th of November. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome back to the Now Morning Show, Director Andre Critchlow. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, good morning. And again, happy good morning and hearty good morning to all you viewers and listeners here and internationally, because we have some people signing in to hear this interview, the official online launch or soft launch. As soft we call launch. It. Um, so yeah, again, top of the morning to you too, sir. How preparations coming along? You ready for them? Woo, nice and busy, nice and busy. Um, there's a lot, a lot happening back end. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, one of the things we're very proud about is we are welcoming a team from China, who is apparently like the country China, the country China, taking part in the box cut intercall. Yeah, that's that's where we are. Interesting. That's where we are. So so yeah, I am very excited to see what they come with because. What? They have to think about it logistically. They have to travel with a cart. Mm -hmm. yeah? So they'll probably bring it knocked down and then reassemble here. So putting things in place. You know? I'm not even worried because everything made in China anyway. So wow. it'll be all right. Okay. The box cart and all. <laughs> but not everything <laughs> box cart in the call is made here. Ah, boy. And this is where it gets interesting. So I want you to be, I was looking at the videos just now. And mm -hmm. I was very, very intrigued by how the actual process happens. So you go to the schools or the schools sign up to be a part of this intercall. And... Is it that they have rules by which they have to make the box cut, like specific dimensions, or most, how does it work? Most definitely. Um, you can't have competition without rules. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we have a competitor's package that goes out. Okay. And that outlines your limitations with, with, within which you design and build your cut. Okay. Um, this, is a, this is, of course, for maintaining you know, equity in the competition, mm -hmm. as well as safety. Right? There's a weight limit. There's a size limit. Okay. Right, and um, again, all of this is in the competitors package. Uh, anybody who wants to get just in general information about it, they could go to the landing page, which mm -hmm. is trinitunacom slash boxcart. Okay, you'll get um, a lot of those questions will be answered there, but you also got to get a lot of background and insight into what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, basically, these <laughs> rules and regulations ensure safety, and as I said, put a seal in all limit. And how big, how much you put into it, money-wise, is up to you. Right. But the way the competition is designed, it, you, it doesn't offer you any 
significant competitive advantage. Mm. It's about, as I like to say, after science, the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in terms of science and the thing, right, the, the box cut itself, of course, is not powered, right? So, well, it is powered, but it's powered by gravity. Well, <laughs> and, and the science, no, the science behind it is gravity is the same for everyone. Right. Right. They have other forces. Well, it depends on the weight. No, gravity is the same for everyone. If you look or remember the the um, experiment they ran on the moon, mm -hmm. a feather and a stone let go, both hit the ground at the same time. The only thing that changes how fast something falls is friction or the resistance to it. But we're not on the moon. If you drop a feather on a stone here, it go mm -hmm. fall at a different time. So it's not the same for everyone. Correct. But the force applied is the same. That's what I'm trying to say. This, this, I don't want to give away too much because this is the learning part mm. for the students. What forces act against you in box cart racing or gravity racing? Um, as I say in most of the visits I do to schools, the one key hint I will give to everyone is friction is your enemy. That's it. Everything else, again, I'll say it over and over, science -y thing. And I have to say with pride, these students do science -y thing. We see some incredible designs, mm -hmm. some well-thought-out designs. So much so that it brings me to the point where Holy Name Convent, point 14, the first year they entered, they came with a card that didn't pass the scrutinizing process. Ah, so they weren't at any regulations. They weren't able to even compete with testing and running, right? Right. And they still came forth. How if they weren't able to compete? Excellent. And that is because they followed a process. The written portfolio you must submit, and as a part of the competition, right. it's not just building the box and coming and racing. Mm -hmm. You have to write your, your entire journey of building it. Okay. And you are grading on it because the way it's structured is like a physics lab. Just like you go into a lab, you mm -hmm. do a science experiment. And you write down, you each, mark down yeah. your observations and you come to a conclusion. Right. It does the same thing with the, 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 the engineering design process. It's practically the same. What we have done is we enable to say that written component is a good 65, 70% of your overall score. Mm. So even if you have the fastest on the day, your portfolio could put you over the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the work they do in their portfolio, building their portfolio, a lot of it can be submitted back to their SBAs. Okay. So it's not just, uh, as I like to say, a fun, glad project. Yeah. It's, we've brought the learning and academia into the fun sphere of the entire experience. Break down for me what happens on the day, because I noticed the ramps, uh, mm -hmm. and of course, I, I, I thought it was more people racing at a time. I didn't realize it was only two yeah, at a time. Two. Yeah, we, okay, so what we do on the day, we have what we call safety or scrutiny. That is where they come, they go through a very strict process to make sure that the cart is sound enough to complete the run or the, get or the test, right? right? Um, after that, they are now put into categories, and a computerized system selects them and puts them to race against each other. Mm. We put that in component there because, of course, everybody wants to know they have the fastest box car. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you had those boy days growing up where you, you, you race downhill and thing. Not with there. box cars, no. All right. There you go. But again, <laughs> <laughs> we added competitive and fun component, yeah. right? The bragging rights to do the fastest Naturally. car for the day. Naturally. Uh, so, so what do we do at that point now, as you could, if you remember seeing on the ramp, Everybody starts at the same time because it's a start gate system. We also have employed a digital timing system mm -hmm. that we um, adopted from drag racing up Waterfield. Right. And this was proven to be very uh, okay, but valuable in the competition because some of the races, there's a separation of three thousandths of a second right. between the two. Yeah. The naked uh, the human can't tell. can't tell a difference. So that Photo we, finish. Yeah, we, we pull the human component out. They can't say, well, your boy, he went seen, so that's why they win yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. No, it's the computer doing everything. Um, and we're proud of that too, because I know the way you, you, you may think of this. And again, as I say with pride, the competition is so fair that as a common thing that it is that tight. Yeah. You know, and it says what? That everybody science anything, mm -hmm. regardless of if your cart looks like a shopping cart from Hilo, or you build something from scratch like, like Formula Press did, presentation, mm -hmm. Chagonas, did a fantastic cart. 
it doesn't offer that much of a competitive advantage. Science, the thing. That's what we're about. That's the whole, the whole aspect yeah. of it. How many schools are competing besides China? Well, <laughs> um, but so far we have, I think it's up close to nine or ten already. Okay. And um, we're also very proud to see this year we are, through sponsorship, been able to afford what we call seed money. To build the box cards. To build the box cards. Nice. So the first, so ten, the first ten schools get seed money so that they can use that towards their entrepreneurial skills to multiply the money to build their box cards. How much is that seed money we're talking about? Uh, we say, I don't want to say too much, but um, let's say it's enough to get a very solid start. Right? Um, unfortunately, because of sponsorship limitations, we've only been able to do for the first 10 of registered schools. So there was a actually an increase in early registration because of that. So the mm. motivation is there. And I tell everyone, you know, um, what other competition do you know where you are actually being paid to compete? That's <laughs> well, what, you're going to be paid to compete. You're helping, you're gonna help in hand to build the box that you need get, to compete. You're getting money to come in a competition. Er, fair. You're getting paid to, to and compete. And it, it's happening <laughs> on the uh, 28th and 29th of November. Yes, so we started on the 28th. The ramp and everything will be up for those who could get there the, you know, the day before to do tweaking. People from China, they will be able to come right. and do their tests on the Friday. Right. But the actual, what we call practical testing and racing takes place on the Saturday. So the main event is Saturday. But we should be open for test runs on the Friday so that people could tweak and get ready. Mm -hmm. We've had that request from the schools from past competitions because they say, well, we come on the day and this is the first time we go down the ramp. Yeah. I was like, okay, all right. So oh. um, it, it's going to be interesting. How high <laughs> is the ramp? That starts it off. So we're not supposed to be given too much information on this. It's the understand. same height for everybody. Well, that's but why I want to know if it's the same height, so why I can't tell it. So the ramp, as you can see from the videos, I wish anybody could do. And this is part of it. We want them to engage and find these creative ways to get that answer. But it's going to be above 10 feet. Okay. Now let's leave it at that. All the right. ramp the slope and the angle and all of that. Yeah, yeah I get into the yeah. I get into the science behind the angle, but if it yeah. says about ten feet, all right, we can work with that. We can yeah. work with that. So, so I also want to add before I forget, because I forgot the last time mm -hmm. to mention, we have sponsors on board that need to be recognized. You recognize know? them. Um, Gatorade has come on board. Uh, we have Blue Waters. They are the ones actually sponsoring the seed money. Nice cash, and um, Ministry of. Education, Ministry of Sport have both been endorsing and supporting our endeavors. Mm -hmm. We're having discussions right now with Ministry of Energy as well, who likes the idea that yeah, you know we're science. using clean energy mm -hmm. to move vehicles and the science behind it and stuff. So we get um, we get some good support. Trinituna.com, they won. Um, them fellas say, now nah, don't worry about hosting and all that. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. Handle all your back end traffic. And again, I have to say, it's probably through them and their presence. That we have China involved with getting the information, mm. visiting the Facebook page, you know. Um, we always have room for more sponsorship. We always have room for support. Is but this is for, about the kids. Is there room for more competitors? At this yeah, point? man, yeah, man, yeah, man. We, we went to every school in Trinidad and Tobago. We've called every school mm -hmm. personally to invite and inform of what we're doing and, and how we want to do it. And uh, you said only, we were, I mean, if you went to every school and you only get about 10 people who registered so far, mm -hmm. what, what do you think is the uh, resistance to it in terms of some schools are saying mm -hmm. what? What's the response like? So the, there are a couple of things that work against us with this. One is the timing is coming up close to the end of term exam. Right. Another reason why we have for the Friday and we're doing it on the Saturday. On the weekend, right. Um, the other thing is, I think it's just people don't get it. Is that an interesting question that is very dear to me because. When we talk to people about it, they all get excited and they say the same thing. Why you don't have more support? Why you don't have, like, it's one of those events I would like to see. Come out and experience it mm -hmm. and you'll get it. So it's open to the public to attend it's as well? It's free. Free? Free. Come in and because this is what, that is what this is about. Mm -hmm. We want people to come and engage with the youths, see their craft, have the youths or provide that forum for them to present their craft. And engage and say, look, I built this. Yeah. And I am doing this. And this is where, again, I see, it's one of those things, sad to see. You come here and you experience it, you get it. Let me watch it on video and all that. It looks nice. It looks fun. But until you actually interact with the students, you see the commitment. You see the joy. You see the camaraderie. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that is why, again, we will always want to have it free, knock on wood. <laughs> because... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I've been called a blockhead before <laughs> more than one occasion. I think you need to be able to pull something like this off because I, I mean, I know box guards growing up. You see mm -hmm. them, all the people. I, but it's always very interesting to me when things like this that start off just community based mm -hmm. and they become something that can be placed in a, in a setting, a controlled setting like the Arima Velodrome to be able to say, all right, we have these rules and regulations and we can turn this into a proper competition because this is something that I think we may have taken for granted yes. over the years. Uh, much like, I want to say, even our national instrument, the fact that it's mm. reusable, that it's made from these discarded oil drums and we made this beautiful thing out of it. Uh, it's the same thing with this. When we look at the video, we see uh, grocery carts, we yes. see bits and pieces that people put together and they're able to make these box carts out of it. So I think it definitely affords us that opportunity to reuse. Right. And I'm glad I said that because one of my favorites, and I have to see it like you that. You have favorites? When I, see, that's Tango why I didn't want to say judge because you have so favorites. <laughs> Pressure. Favorite for me from a, <laughs> <laughs> from a point of view of creativity. Right, right, right. Yes, has been the box lunch killers from Seeds, but a team from Blanche shares the story behind the innovation and repurposing. Mm. They went around their school and take old desks that they've condemned, right. chairs. Um, they just got everything they had and they used what they got to repurpose and build a cart. That I found was very innovative, very yeah. impressive. And these are the kind of things we want to foster and encourage. Solution thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do have money, all right, but we could make this work. Which yeah. is actually how we did box cars growing up. Exactly. Right? We had pieces of wood and stuff I like that. I seed money. Well, they didn't have seed money. <laughs> they didn't have seed money. Exactly. You should you know? take whatever you find yeah. around the place exactly. and make it work. And repurpose, you know. And um, because of that, too, we're very proud to see it. One of the prizes from last year, besides cash to the students, is we were able to organize internships mm. at two engineering companies in Trinidad and Tobago. Nice. Um, again, I didn't the value that we see is needed for the next generation. Huh? Um, when you think about it, when we were doing O-levels, and you come out with your passes, how many of us could say you have real world work experience? Yeah. That is what we are about. And um, they enjoyed it thoroughly to the point where one of them, I remember having a very informal discussion where they said, Yeah, I didn't realize they had, um, they were, did a session in um, materials and inventory. Mm -hmm. And they enjoyed it thoroughly because it involves spreadsheets, it involves tracking, and that was something that, you know, you see the light bulbs go off yeah. where they get excited because, yes, they like engineering, but it may not be suited for hands-on or these hard calculations, mm -hmm. but they might have an argument for detail and tracking. And they could find the place that fits in best they for them. They found their yeah. niche yeah. at an age where you're just coming out with passes. <laughs> exactly. You know, that, is, that to me was very exciting. I think this, whole, this, this entire event is very exciting and I think the lead up to it is exciting as well because the students get to be a part of something, they get to track their progress mm -hmm. and then they get to see it happen on the day and they get bragging rights and some prize money and think if they win too. They get, they get everything you everything. need. So everything congratulations. you need to be a success. Every, congratulations to you and Again, to your team. I take it. Um, and of course, we look forward to heading to the Arimo Velodrome on the 28th and 29th of November. It's going to be a fantastic time. What time is this? does the competition kick off? So we want to start early this year because we have to finish early. Mm -hmm. We have to make room at the Velodrome for evening activities. Right. So it will be shutting down hopefully 2 o'clock by 2 3. So what we could start it. We start promptly at 8. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. We will be starting official testing and tuning and, mm -hmm. and putting people in categories while the computer doing that right. and hardcore competition. All right, fantastic. It's going to be an amazing time. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is show up at the Arima Velodrome and appreciate the work of these young uh, children, essentially. Yeah, yeah, Thank you so much yeah. for joining us this morning, Andrew. Always a pleasure. And all the best to you, sir. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we head to Tobago. Stay tuned.